Start this. What's that? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, You're gonna lean that in. I'm, you that's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna, Two minutes. <laughs> crap. Hello, everyone. So, uh, welcome to probably the most ridiculous shenanigans I've done since adding marshmallows to cereal that don't have marshmallows. Okay. Yeah, that's probably fair. Yeah. Um, we are te taste testing. Random ridiculous sodas. There's a place nearby that has like these just off the wall flavors of soda. And so we went and we picked out six. Um, not all of them are off the wall. Some of them are just things we wanted wanted to try. Uh, but three of them specifically are super, super weird. That's that one. All three of the super, super weird ones are in the front. Or in well, the front of us, not the front. Not you. Um, stage left. Not stage you. Um, so we're going to try these, and we're going to give our our taste testing opinion. I, I just I kind of feel like this is going to be the first in a series because <laughs> there were a lot of other ones at there, the store that I wanted to get. There were there were a ton and of these. And I feel these. like his facial expressions tasting them have to be saved for posterity. <laughs> Or also you. But I mean, why not both? And the cats are freaking out because there's a table in here and it's not normally in here. So this is gonna be fun all around. Um, what soda would you like to start off with first? You know? Pick, pick. Okay. Sweet corn. Uh, you just wanna use the, it's is a twist, a, off. Is a twist off? Okay. I wasn't sure how many of these are twist, uh, I'm assuming they're all twist off, but only one of them is clearly marked. So, and we've got we've got basically an, our entirety of shot glasses here, so that we can take small samples of this. Okay, so, and they've all been chilled because I'm assuming that they're all going to taste better chilled. So, how do you typically do with things where the flavor does not match the texture? Um, they like the jelly bellies. They kind of weird me out a little bit. So this All is, right, this this is, is going to be, be fun. This is going to be fun. Cheers. Cheers. What flavor is this? Sweet corn. This is sweet corn soda. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, it smells exactly like roast corn. It does not taste like roast corn, though. It just tastes like sugar. Well, there's a, there's a, uh, the back end of it tastes lightly <coughs> of corn on the cob. A little bit of butter, but it mostly just tastes like sugar. Yeah, but uh, I like it. Uh, you can. Oh God, no! I, I got it. I have to do at least one more, just a. To... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, well, no, I'll I... be finishing this bad boy. I, I have a feeling you're going to be finishing most of these because I'm. <laughs> I'm expecting. I'm expecting bad things from this. <laughs> Such, such bad things. Um, okay, well, um, let's go for the next weird flavor. We'll do the three weird flavors first, and then we'll do the three, just, Rowan, what are you doing? Uh, Easy. Uh, we'll do the, the three, not weird, but just kind of wanting to, to try it out after that. So this is, this is another one Jesse picked out. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is pickle flavored soda. I love pickles. Love pickles. It's, it's not, let's use the double shot glass. I have a feeling I'm gonna. <laughs> it's the same size as the rest. It's just shaped different. It's just shaped different. Now this one, I I feel like I'm gonna tolerate a little bit better because I actually like pickles. I like corn on the cob too, but I don't like my corn on the cob to feel like it's covered in sugar. Like, it's like someone took a corn of the cup, just slathered it in butter, and then dipped it in raw sugar. <laughs> I mean, if, if the worst things in my mouth. <laughs> Cheers to pickles. Cheers. Let's, Let's see how this, this goes. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, oh God. It, it tastes, this actually tastes like carbonated pickle juice. It's too but sweet. But it's too sweet, yeah. Well, it's like, um... 
Instead of dill pickle, it's, um, it's... No, it's definitely still dill. It's just really sweet. Ah, uh, the more I drink of it, though, the more it has a weird, like... This is what I'm expecting from the next of the weird sodas. It's, you can tell it's false flavoring. Yeah. And that's what I'm... Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's disappointing. I really love pickles. Yeah. I mean, you were, you had high hopes for this one. I did. You did. You really did. So. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm just, just disappointed. Ah, uh, I don't... I mean, just you just said it. You don't. You don't. Don't. You don't have to finish drinking them. I mean, maybe with some rum or something. Maybe these would be a good mixer. This one, yes. That one. There's just enough chemically something that no. I, I guess I can take these and, and move them off to the side somewhere. So that we we're freeing up some space. All right. So the last of the weird ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just needed a burp, and I didn't know how big it would be <laughs> since we just had a fairly large dinner. Uh, this is the uh, the last of the weird ones, which um, keeps. Every time I say that, I keep thinking, Fallout Boy is the last of the real ones. <laughs> I would put that in as the backing track to this if I wanted to get copyright flagged. Um, this is the one that just kind of... Uh, it had to be done because of me. And it was part of their ad campaign for this particular uh, series of stores, because there's like three of them in our area. Really? Yeah. Um, it's a it's a franchise. It's called Rocket Fizz for those of you who are in the North Carolina area. But they had radio ads, and they're like, "There's even a bacon flavored soda, which is what this is." And everyone knows that I love bacon, and I Not but I hate as much as I love bacon. And this is debatable. But I love. I love bacon, but bacon flavored things tend to not taste like bacon. Mm. And I tend to dislike a lot of bacon flavored yeah. things. Because it's All like right. yeah. it's it's fake smoke flavor is typically what they use. So it I'm, is bacon. I'm expecting that to be this, so cheers All to right. bacon. Get this aroma. Oh god. Oh this is not gonna be good. No. Oh god, that's nauseating. It's... It's yeah. like somebody poured a little bit of uh, liquid smoke into a thing of corn syrup. Yeah. That's, and that's, that's what it is. It's like, it's fake smoke flavoring is what they typically do with all of this. And this is Lester Fixins artificially flavored bacon soda. Y'all get your fixins is the uh You know, it tastes like really sweet bacos. Once you let it just kinda sit in your mouth for a minute, it's definitely the same aftertaste as bacos. Not bacon bits, bacos. I, I can't let it sit in my mouth. And that <laughs> I can't let There's it sit your in my quote mouth. from this video. <laughs> I can't let it sit in my mouth. Marauder EX twenty nineteen. I'm so glad I'm not running for public office because so many things that I've said in this could just be... At least they won't, like, come out. They're just already out yeah. there. Nobody has to go digging for yeah, it. No, and, like, none of this shit that I say is, like, terrible. It's just taken out of context. It makes me sound like a raging pervert. Now, see, <laughs> I'm screwed because of someone who was born female and had sex out of wedlock, I cannot run for public office. At least not in North Carolina. Um, let's try this one. Uh, or do you want to save that one? I kind of wanted to save these two for last. We'll save, okay. Uh, because these these are the two that we picked out as these, we want to try these specifically. Um, so this is the last one that I kind of picked out as a, and this isn't even weird. Um, 
especially for my audience. Bakos. Yeah. Um. This is this is Ramun, Ramun. Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. It's it's Japanese soda. It's all over every convention that you've ever been to ever. Uh, if you'll try that off. Um. Uh. Jesse has never had this, and I'm. I've had something similar, I think, but I haven't had. I I'm. A, <laughs> I'm a veteran of of. Yeah, well, I'll need that part. <laughs> um, I'm a veteran of, of many, many anime conventions, and this was a staple at every single one of them. And so this, you'll, you'll notice the weird shape mm -hmm. of the bottle. It's pressurized by a glass bead. Okay. That's how they keep it pressurized. And this is actually a, a newer style thing. The old, other ones that I'm used to are not this fancy, but you just kind of... Oh, no, because it's not. This is more what I'm used to. You have to just... Nice. And that's and now there you have a, a neat bottle that has a little glass bead on it. Aww. Um, this is strawberry-flavored room, which is one I actually wanted to try. Because um, I, I love... I love the flavors that I've tried, and there are some really interesting flavors. Um, because, you know, Japanese everything, the flavors are weird. When you can get green tea Kit Kats. Yeah. You know what I, I really want, and I haven't had for a like, really long time? Hmm. Grass jelly drink. Never had that. It's tasty and delicious, or at least I think so. So, here's to right. strawberry Japanese soda. Oh. It tastes like strawberries. That is a lovely palate cleanser. I, yeah, it kind of is. It's, it is, it reminds me of something. I mean, strawberry, obviously, but like, strawberry flavor, strawberry flavored gum. Like, I remember bubble gum, bubble yum used to have a strawberry flavor back in the, late 90s. Yeah, remember like the... the uh, oh god, it's sweet though. So sweet. The gum with like the kind of juicy center like a yeah. textures. Yeah. The strawberry one too. Yeah. Like that. I forget what that was. But I can I can clearly see it. It's got like the, the light pink mm -hmm. border and like the dark pink center. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to look that up and I'll try to add it to the video. Yeah, I like the Dr. Pepper one of those. Did you ever have that? No, I never oh, did. Oh, it was so good. I never did. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah. And it's actually, this is Sangria. <laughs> but no alcohol. Sangaria. Sangaria. Um, which I wonder, and made with real sugar. I didn't know that. Woo! No HFCS for, for that. All right, so the last two are ones that we've actually wanted to try because we are familiar with the... Uh, the others. Yes. Um, so I have a feeling we're just going to drink these no matter what. <laughs> um, we've got the sarsaparilla. So I had to get this because I love the Big Lebowski. And, and while I'm no Sam Elliott, I, I enjoyed moseying up to the little counter where these were sitting, looking at no one and asking if I had a decent sarsaparilla. Sioux City? Yeah, that's a good one. So I have Sioux City Sarsaparilla. <laughs> and the last one that I've got, I've I've had videos brought to you all by this product before, but not this flavor. This is balls. Cherry. Um I've I've done the regular flavor of balls, which is just like a super caffeinated Guarana energy drink type thing. It's like modern day. And even the place that we went to even had Jolt Cola. And I almost uh -huh. got that just to see if it was the same Jolt Cola as from my youth, which I doubt it is, more than likely. It's probably just rebranded. But um, I wanted to try the cherry flavor for a really long time, and the places locally that I could get it very easily stopped carrying it, and so I never got around to it. And then I saw that they had it there, so I'm going to have to try it. So, um, yeah, let's... Uh, Right. Let's finish these bad boys. Because 
I guess I'll pour you a a shot of this and pour me a shot of that, and then we'll just drink drink up. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, I was just gonna drink from oh. the bottle at that yeah. point. <laughs> I want to see my my sarsaparilla in the skull. And I've never had sarsaparilla, so it's like root beer, right? That's the mm -hmm. that's the. Oh wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's like um, it it is it's it's root beer, yeah, basically. But it's it's a lighter root beer. It's lighter on the anise. Yeah, yeah cause like that's one of the things about root beer. Like, I can't drink a lot of root beer because it feels very heavy. Yeah, yeah. But like that's that's light. So there we go. Sioux yeah. Sitter Sarsaparilla. Sioux Sitter Sioux Studio. <laughs> There's no alcohol in any of this, I promise. <laughs> um, and so now, right. no balls. Yeah. Cheers hey. to balls in your mouth. Go suck on some balls. Oh. Oh, it has the same metallic aftertaste as the regular one, just slightly cherry flavored. Ah, that was the thing about the the original flavor of balls is there was so much caffeine and guarana in it that it tasted metallic. It didn't taste metallic to me. I, I I've got a little bit of it. It's it's mo it's better covered by the cherry. Um. Nutrition facts. Uh, it doesn't say how much caffeine. Got High one. caffeine guarana soda. I might have to splice in some information on these after. I'm I'm burping up corn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, those weird sodas. I'm I'm actually kind of scared now, but I know as you said, we're probably going to have to do this. Oh yeah. Because there were other yeah. weird flavors. There was a bubblegum flavored soda. There was a ranch dressing flavored uh, soda. Frank's Red Hot. Frank's for, Red Hot. Yeah. Buffalo. Um, there, there were others. Yeah. And so this is probably going to be a thing. But there were some that weren't, didn't look quite so whatever that I'm curious to try. Like the, um, the key lime pie one. I'll be curious about that one. It's already supposed to be sweet, so it's not. Yeah. Hopefully not gonna fuck things up. Yeah, the the other sodas, um, they they taste about what I expected them to taste like. I, I just wanna keep drinking more of this. I shouldn't. I'm gonna be up all fucking night. <laughs> ah. Maybe you should have some sarsaparilla. It's <laughs> caffeine free. Really? Oh yeah. I know I know root beer is caffeine free. Yep. Oh god, combining the two of those, it's like an upper and a downer. <laughs> Or or just sugar and an upper. <laughs> There's really no downer about it. It's not like a speedball or anything where you're you're con combining like pure cane sugar. Hmm. Um. No, this has this is HFCS. Kinda. The more I drink of it, the more I taste the metallic though. Yeah, but also the more I taste the cherry. Gorilla. It's like eating metal cherries. Ah. So yeah, this has been, um... Yes? Just... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Delayed. Ah! That was amusing to me. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, this is ta taste testing really uncomfortable random sodas. <laughs> I, I, I feel like we're going to have to do it with candy also, but I think yeah, we, some of those are going to have to be blind. There's a few I want to make you try without you seeing. And, and that's the thing. Like, I wanted this to be kind of blind, but with the flavors we got, it would have been very... Like, there's no way we could look at it and not know what we were yeah. drinking. Really, the only way to do it is for one of us to get it and, and it be a blind test, taste test for the other one. Yeah. But we both went to, to pick out, so, so it's like, we, we were going to see what, um, 
But yeah, like we we just want to try out random shit because you know why the hell not? Oh, there's the big ghost again. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All the bakos are coming back on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll I'll post the names of each of these sodas in the description. So if you want to try to find them online, and for whatever reason try them yourself. I mean. I mean the balls, the the sarsaparilla, and the ramon. Uh, those are I could recommend. Try the, the sweet corn. Don't don't try the sweet Do corn. It. Avoid the bacon. Oh god, it's a combination of everything. <laughs> bacon <laughs> flavored corny pickles. <laughs> oh god. I regret so many things. So much regret right now. My eyes are watering from that. Uh, it's not that bad. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I I have regrets in life. This is... This doesn't really rank up there, but right now... <laughs> in, in this moment, <laughs> the regrets feel strong. Um, so, yeah. Um, we're going to do this again. If you have uh, suggestions of things that you want us to try, I know that... Uh, when I was doing the serial killer videos, a lot of people were suggesting I do certain types of serials, a lot of which were really difficult to get a hold of. One that was constantly asked for was a very popular European so uh, serial called Weetabix. Mm. It's basically like uh, our, our mini wheats, but yeah. just a block, and that you yes. kind of chopped up and made into a mush with milk. Uh, but it was really expensive to, to import. Uh, but if there's anything you want to see us try, because uh, apparently we're masochists and we'll put things in our mouths for entertainment. Speak for yourself. <laughs> this is purely for my own self-edification. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for your entertainment. Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to regret making this a series. I already see it now. But yeah, so things you want us to try. We've got sodas. We, we have some candy. Uh, we're going to pick up some more candies to, to try out. And then, um, like, if there's anything else you want to see. Because uh, I think the, I think the serial killer's kind of gone where it can go. Yeah. Um, because after that, so many cereals just got marshmallows added to them anyway. Yeah. Um, and then there's a point where you start getting a lot of overlap. Like... Mm. There you. There's some, only so many brands of cereal. There is, and then made. there's like, you know, a lot of them are going to be very similar, like cocoa puffs and cocoa pebbles. You know, the texture is going to be different, but it's still two chocolate-based cereals with marshmallows. It's going to be very similar. Um, <laughs> what? I don't like chocolate cereal. Well, I mm, Reese's Puff is the exception, but I only have that once a year. Uh, so, like, yeah, I think that may have run its course. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, because I'm a masochist. Oh, more bacos. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop drinking that, because I don't want to keep burping the rest of the flavors <laughs> along with it. So, uh, yes, in the comments, let me know what you would like to see us put in our mouths. Um, food no. related. Food related. Yeah, do not. <laughs> no. You should edit that out. <laughs> I'm not going to. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that stay in and regret that decision also. <laughs> Along with drinking bacon, pickle, and sweet corn flavored sodas. Yeah, and this is why I don't link my YouTube channel to this mess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, if there's anything you want to see us taste test, uh, mm -hmm. let us know. Oh, we'll see what we can do about it because you know, I gotta, I gotta keep coming this weird content going because you know, I can only play so many fight crab games. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let us know. And, uh, this has been an eye-opening experience of flavor. <laughs> I'm working with some really unstable <laughs> herbs. <laughs> That's also going to be taken out of context. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, thank you for tuning in and watching whatever the hell this is. I don't even have a name for this, so, like... Whatever the hell this is. Why did I put this in my mouth? <laughs> no.
<laughs> Absolutely not. And that's what I'm naming it now. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right, so yeah, um, I'll see you in my next video of whatever I I bring to the table next. <laughs> so until uh, then, later, everyone. <laughs>